All right, let's get started on the um, listen. So I have Sublime Text uh, open on my screen, and I also have Windows Explorer open. So I have my lessons folder opened up, and I want to go ahead and add a folder. So I'm going to add a new folder, and that folder is going to be week four. And again, if you're in a summer class, these weeks won't match up. Uh, or if you're in a um, May semester or in a summer one, summer two. Again, these are based upon a seven week semester. Inside my week four, I'm going to go ahead and create another folder. This is where my website's going to be, and I'll call this Sandwich Shop. And then we want to have a place where we're going to place our images. So. I'm going to create inside that I'm going to create another new folder and I'm going to call that images. Okay, so this is standard uh, website uh, architecture. We'll have a main folder, have all our pages, and then we'll have images folder that had our pictures in it. And we would be using a different one if we had a really large website, then we'd probably have uh, folders for each of the different pages we have and all the resources that are inside them. All right, so now that I've done that, let's go back up to week four. Okay, there's my sandwich shop. What I want to do is I want to add this project to uh, Sublime Text. So we're going to bring Sublime Text back in. What did I do with Sublime Text? Ready. There it is. All right. All right, so there's Sublime Text. Let me shove this over a little bit. And shove this over a little bit and then go back to the other so you can see both at the same time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my sandwich shop and let me make this smaller. Grab my sandwich shop and dump it right on top of Sublime Text. All right. Now, when I go back to Sublime Text, there I can see my uh, images. I mean, my images in, is the only thing that's inside the folder. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my first page. So I'm going to do file and new. Right, so it's an untitled page. And then I'm going to save that page because I want to save it as an HTML page. And since this is going to be our home page, um, in fact, let's see. So this is going back to an old. So 162 online. Lessons for Sandwich Shop. All right, now it's going to be inside the Sandwich Shop. Uh, I'm going to call this Sandwich Template. Underscore template dot HTML. And the reason for that is we're going to create the template for it. Then we're going to create all the pages from that template. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So now that's there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is create my CSS page. So we're going to call that sandwich.css, or we can call it styles, you know, whatever you want to call it, really. So I'm going to do new file, and then I'm going to save that file. And I'm going to call that sandwich.css. Uh, before I save it, I'm going to go ahead and copy that. We want to make sure that it's it's precise. It's exactly the same, or you're going to have some problems later on. So I'm going to hit save. Now it's called sandwich.css. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the template, and I'm going to go ahead and create the first start of my page. So I'm going to type HTML, and then type then hit tab, and that's going to put in uh, the basics of my page. So I'm just going to add a few other things. So after the head, I'm going to have uh, meta. And that's going to put in my character set. So I hit, I just type meta and then hit tab. And it automatically puts that in for me. The only other thing, let's see, I want to do a couple more things. Um, for title, let's just do sandwich shop and 
let's go ahead and now we're going to link to our uh, sandwich page up sandwich CSS so I'm just going to type L I N K and press tab and it's going to automatically put in the rest of everything else I need and now I'm going to paste in the name of my file which was sandwich CSS we can get rid of this type text CSS we don't need that anymore that's a holdover all right so now we have that and now we want one other meta tag Meta tab, and of course that's not we don't want to do the character set. So for this one, we're going to have name equals description, and then we're going to have content equals, and then a description in here. I'll just put description for now. Each page should have its own specific description, and that's what search engines will use when they describe that page. All right, so this is good for now. Um, go ahead and save the sandwich template. And there's no sense in me looking at it in the screen because uh, there's nothing to see yet. We haven't put anything in the body. The only thing that would show up would be sandwich shop in the tab that we have in there. All right, on to the next lesson.